Hey there folks, it's A&T at the Arizona Ghost Riders. The mail stage just came in. Okay, as, ooh, uh, let me get my glasses on, hold on. Okay. Yeah. Santi, why don't you do a segment on spectacles in the Old West? I've seen a lot of Old West reenacting folks out there that need some guidance on this subject. We'll kill them. Spectacles, eh? We could do that. What we call eyeglasses today were called spectacles back then. During the period of the Old West, the term eyeglasses referred to optics without temple-hugging frames. They simply clamped to the nose and in some circles were called pince-nez. Presbyopia, presbyopia, Presbyopia. Presbyopia. Uh, yeah, whatever. Presbyopia, or what I call getting older, requires folks who can generally see fine until they have to read something close up to stash a pair of readers or cheaters on them. Well, these were just as common in the Old West as they are today. These specs could be found for 15 cents to a dollar, depending on how fancy you wanted to get. Just kidding, that's something they look really good on. Honest. <laughs> Glass lenses were not a new invention. They were made by melting glass into a disc and using grinders and polishers to shape it into the optical strength required. An interesting design was called the pantoscopic or pulpit. These were half lenses for folks who just needed to look over the lenses when not reading, like a preacher. Frames were interesting. Up until the late 1880s, they were a straight design that stretched along the temples to keep the glasses on. In 1873, G.W. Miggs figured that they would stay on better if they hooked around the ears and made a patent on that design. Santi, what do you think about the glasses? Huh. Huh. Wow. Uh, yeah, they're, they're good, Dan. Some materials used were steel, coin silver, gold, German silver, which is a mix of different metals, and tortoise shell. I'm kind of a slick item, huh? <laughs> the lens shapes of the frontier period were not that different from what we sport today. Square, octagonal, oval, oblong, except for the round. Round lenses disappeared from fashion prior to the Civil War and didn't come back until about 1910. Hmm. There were bifocals too. However, out west it was more common to see specs with four panels, which offered hinged lenses that flipped over to provide a different strength. Tinted lenses were available to treat people who had a sensitivity to sunlight. No, they didn't offer the UV protection that today's shades offer, but greens, blues, and ambers were the norm. No, no mirrored shades, dude. Beef. It's what's for dinner. Come on. Nowadays, you can still find spectacles from the past in antique stores. Some optometrists will even outfit them with your prescription lenses. If you want a more customized solution, try the Historic Eyewear Company. Incidentally, they supplied a bunch of research to help with today's episode, so thanks a lot, Historic Eyewear Company. Link is in the description field. Well, I hope you all learned a little something about spectacles in the Old West. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on down the trail. Beef stew, beef brisket, Chateaubriand, Catalonian beef ragu.